How can we send email in Mac and Linux using the terminal? Well, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect to an SMTP server using Telnet to send an email using SMTP Relay. So for the first step, we need a mail server to connect to. I'm going to use the free service mailslurp.com to create a real SMTP server and we can connect to it in this tutorial. So here I have a new email address and if I click on the SMTP IMAP panel, I can see the access details for my SMTP server. So I can see a server host and port. We can use this server host to connect to the server in Telnet. And we can simply write Telnet, the server, and then port 2525. We see a message back from the server now telling us that the SMTP service is ready. The first step is to greet the server with a hello message. So we say E-H-L-O and then type our name. So I'm going to say localhost. Great. We can see a response from the server telling us its capabilities. Notice here the line about auth plane. That means we need to provide a username and password to log into the server in order to send a message. Without logging in, we can still talk to the server to check if a recipient exists or to deliver a message. That looks like this. I can type verify jack at gmail.com and this server says it cannot verify the user, but it will accept a message anyway. To send an email, we need to log in first. So if I go back to MailSlurp, I can see here a username and password for this SMTP server. We need to take those and convert them to a format that the SMTP server can understand, which in this case with AuthPlane will be a base64 encoded string. So I'm going to copy the username here. And in a new terminal, I'm going to use echo, pass in en, and then a null terminator, which is backslash zero, and then our username and then another backslash zero and our password. And then we pipe that to base 64. And when we hit enter, we see the result. So these backslash zero strings are important for separating the username and password. And the end result looks quite different. So if I pipe that into PB copy on a Mac, it will copy it to my clipboard and we can use it in the next step. So back to my Telnet connection. Now we can log in using our base 64 encoded string. So we type auth, plane and we see a response 334 that means we should continue by providing the username password encoded string i can paste that in and we see authentication has succeeded now we can send messages from the server and the server will act as an smtp relay to do so we can use the mail from command so we say mail from colon and then we wrap our email address in these angle brackets like so Okay, we see a 250 saying that the server accepted that command and it's time to specify our email. So we want to specify a recipient. So we write RCPT2 colon and again wrap the email address in the brackets. Okay, we get another 250. That means we're now ready to start writing our email content. So we can write data and press enter. Notice it says 354 go ahead. And it says to end your data with a new line and a full stop. So to compose our email message, we want to start with some headers. So we can say from and specify the email address again. And we can say to specify the recipient. And we can say subject test email like so. Then we put a blank line between the headers and the body to write our email content put a blank line and then say this is the body. Press enter again and to end the email message we need to add a new line and a full stop. So we'll do that now. And we see a 250 OK. So that means the email has been queued for sending and will be relayed by our SMTP server later. Now if we go back to MailSlurp we can see the email has been received by our email address. If we open it up we can see the body is present our subject line, recipients, and from all match what we specified. So I hope that helps you to send emails using Telnet on Linux or macOS. And like and subscribe below for more tutorials.